The Vifocus Vision is our newest headset and has had many questions asked about it. I'm here to help answer 12 of your most pressing questions. Our first question is from Kana4950 asking, can I use my index controllers and my 3.0 trackers with the Focus Vision without needing a space calibrator. The Vive Focus Vision uses inside out tracking where VR tech like the index controllers in the Vive Tracker 3.0 use Steam VR in lighthouse tracking, also known as outside in tracking. Because they use different tracking systems, you will need a calibration system like Open Space Calibrator to align them. Once you set up the space calibration system, it will work. Our second question is from Spring Chickens Only Man. And Spring is wondering if this headset will be able to stay on longer than two hours while the DisplayPort mode is being used. Yes, technically you can stay in VR forever using the DisplayPort cable, but I do recommend taking a break. And when using the Vive Wired Streaming Kit, you can get lossless visual quality at up to 120 hertz, whereas if you're using wireless, you can only get up to 90 hertz. So there are a lot of benefits, and we do recommend going wired using DisplayPort mode if PC VR gaming is your main way you enjoy VR. Go enjoy the new games coming out this year. One of them, which is Alien Rogue Incursion, which recently came out. And let me just say, I'm not a big horror fan, but you might want to live out your horror dream. 120 hertz refresh rate. Something else to note is the Focus Vision does have a two hour battery time while being wireless. And you can even swap out your battery while it's on low power and whatever game you're playing will remain running. And that Vive Wired streaming kit will allow you to connect to your PC via wire, making an even crispier experience. Question number three is someone like Cody who is asking, why did we use Fresnel lenses? Many people have asked this question. We are delivering 5K visuals at 120 Hertz refresh rate, as well as a high field of view, which is a great combination to use. Our high resolution display and our large field of view makes the PC VR gaming experience extremely immersive and very detailed. By continuing the specs over from the Vive Focus 3, we can minimize the rework needed on apps and experiences. It's also worth keeping in mind that moving to something like micro OLED has a huge impact on cost. For example, Big Screen Beyond is the same price as the Vive Focus Vision, but does not include an AIO experience or controllers. No battery, audio, or soft strap. Question number four from Marcus301 is asking, why did we use Snapdragon Gen 1? The XR2 platform delivers a great balance of power and performance, giving us a platform to deliver stunning visuals with accurate tracking. In fact, it's proven to be such a reliable and powerful platform that our Vive Focus 3 headset, which uses the same chipset, passed rigorous testing environments and was used by astronauts abroad the International Space Station. For most enterprise organizations, their priority is maximizing usage time, so they appreciate upgrades that help towards that goal. A powerful processor platform will always be welcome, but they feel that more benefits can be found through other upgrades. For those who want that best visual experience, we added DisplayPort support to leverage the high-powered PC. The XR2 Plus is a great update, but for enterprise organizations, the platform itself was never the limiting factor. They still have room to push the XR2. For any enterprise looking for hyper-realistic visuals, they rely on PC VR anyways. Question number five is by CookNN, which is wondering if putting prescription lenses in the headset is possible. As far as wearing your glasses with your headset, yes you can, which I have done before and everything felt great, but of course if you have contacts, that's the best way to experience wearing VR. We don't currently offer custom prescription lenses. Check out our documentation on wearing the headset with glasses below. BZG234 is wondering if sweating can ruin the headset eye tracking. Thankfully that shouldn't be a problem. One of the best ways to increase the lifespan of tech is to take good care of it. If you just got done playing an intense round of beats or dancing in VR chat, you can pop off the headset and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth to keep it clean. The PU leather on the Focus Vision makes for super easy cleaning, allowing you to take care of your headset and minimize any potential damage. Question number seven and eight by Gators and Forgotten Fox. Both of them are wondering what eye tracking and face tracking parameters are supported. We have up to 38 different blend shapes on face tracking and support various eye tracking parameters. Support for tracking will ultimately depend on the content, the data pipeline, and if 
if PC VR and the Avatar or app supports it. And we do understand that there has been concerns lately about the quality of the face tracking, but know that our product team is working very hard on bringing updates to make it even better for you. And you can learn more about that in our most recent update video in the card above. Question number nine is from Juzo, which is wondering if an STL file or something similar will be available to make mods for 3D prints. If anyone's interested in anything like this, we recommend that you join the Discord and contact one of our team members within the Discord to see what we can do. Question number 10 is from Shadow Bullet, which is wondering if the Vive Focus Vision will forward hand tracking over to VRChat natively. Will this happen over cable? And can it support controller and hand tracking at the same time, or will it auto switch? If you're using the Vive Hub, we do forward hand tracking to the PC. Whether the content itself supports hand tracking is dependent on that content. For controller hand tracking and switching, if you're streaming through Vive Hub, you'll need to enable hand tracking in your settings and afterwards it will automatically switch to hand tracking if you put your controllers down. Question number 11 is from Nick, which is asking if you can use the ultimate trackers, face tracking and DisplayPort mode at the same time. The reason Nick asks this is because there are two USB-C ports on the headset, whereas in the setup he mentioned, you would need three USB ports to use all of them at the same time. You would need to connect your ultimate tracker to the PC in this case, and you can refer to a setup guide that we'll leave in a card above. Question number 12 is from Zero Cool, asking if the face tracker will work on standalone VR chat. The great news is that it already does. The data goes through OSC and you'll need to have an avatar that supports the parameters. Make sure the eye and facial tracking data is enabled in the Vive Hub. Also make sure you have OSC turned on in VR chat. If you're looking for face tracking compatible avatars, you can search on many different sites like Booth to support avatar creators there. The Vive Focus Vision is a powerful headset and definitely one worth considering if you're looking to upgrade your headset or if you're a first time VR user. Check out our latest deals on our website for more info. And if you're wanting more in-depth spec information about the headset, check out our eight most powerful features for the Vive Focus Vision next.